Hello my friends, last week I did a video sharing my top recommendations on what pieces to buy from Hermes for spring summer and in that video I mentioned that I had also been planning on doing a video on the exact opposite so pieces very popular pieces that I don't think are worth your money no matter how unpopular this video is going to make me because some of these pieces are already so popular or dare I say overrated that it doesn't matter where you look on social media they seem to be everywhere but when it comes to such expensive pieces I cannot lie to you guys I have to be honest and I have to share with you my very blunt review so if you'd like to see which are the new Hermes launches that I don't think are worth your hard-earned money then make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and keep on watching. As always these are just my honest thoughts, my personal opinion. If you own and love any one of these pieces please let us know your experience in the comment section. We don't all have to love the exact same things but without further ado let's dive straight in and start with the piece that actually inspired this video which is something that launched I want to say late last year but I hadn't actually had the chance to look at it in person until more recently when I was in London because my boutique never actually bought into this piece which is the so-called RMS suitcase from Hermes. I think RMS stands for rolling mobility suitcases which let's be honest isn't the most imaginative name but let's start with some of the pros things that I love about this suitcase because I have to be honest when this piece first launched I was kind of tempted by it. I mean, I never seriously considered it, but I really loved the idea of this suitcase because I do like a nice suitcase. And as we all know, I do love Hermes too. So what I love about this suitcase based on my limited experience of playing around with it is that it comes in some of the most beautiful leathers. I mean, you can definitely feel the quality and how much thought and effort has gone into the making of these suitcases. Each detail is beautifully designed. Every single part, piece and feature feels incredibly well thought thought out and just beyond luxurious especially the handle I have to say that the handle is my favorite feature on this suitcase because I mean you wouldn't expect too much from a suitcase handle you know the deal even on a more expensive suitcase there's a button that you push down you pull up the handle and you're good to go but on this suitcase it actually features this really cool twist mechanism so on these suitcases which by the way only come in one size there is this leather sort of handle detail that you have to twist and that's what releases the handle which could not be any more just feels expensive which is really the only thing that I kept thinking when I was playing around with this suitcase the entire experience just felt really luxurious but because of that beautiful handle the suitcase is actually quite tiny so these were all the pros that they are beautifully made the details are really well thought out which you would expect from Hermes especially for this kind of money but unfortunately the suitcase on the inside is incredibly tiny I mean I would say that it fits about as much as a medium-sized duffel bag it is a tiny suitcase because the handle is seamlessly hidden inside the sort of the back panel of the suitcase which obviously takes up space and it takes away room from the inside of the suitcase which is canvas lined it's kind of lined in a similar fabric to the Hermes dust bag it's not the exact same it doesn't have the same pattern or the same finish but that's kind of the most comparable thing that I could think of it's not that hard wearing of water repellent nylon that something like a remova suitcase would be lined in it definitely feels a lot more delicate and something that would be a lot more prone to color transfer and things bleeding into it so that is another thing that you have to keep in mind but I think the biggest con when it comes to this suitcase is how insanely tiny it is. I mean Hermes claims that it should fit three days or 72 hours worth of things but I mean I really doubt that because this suitcase is incredibly small. If you travel with a change of shoes, if you want to put a jacket, dare I even say a coat in there, you're gonna be left with no room to spare for anything else they are really really tiny so I think these would only really work if you're going on a long haul flight you check in a larger suitcase and this is just for you to hold your most prized possessions and all your essentials or if you are maybe going away for the quickest day trip this is something that you could take with you but I'm telling you this suitcase is not going to fit much no matter how beautifully made it is so it is not only expensive small canvas line but also it comes in leather 
and canvas, not only in plain canvas, but also in some font and quirky prints. There are a few different quirky prints that you can choose from. And I have no doubt that they're going to expand on this line because they have not only done matching passport holders and card holders for the same collection, but they're also launching a matching tote bag, which I think is going to be kind of comparable to the Dior book tote. So this collection is definitely going to be around for a while. There is currently only one size that this suitcase comes in, and it only comes in leather and in canvas, which means that it's not really made of the most hard wearing materials you're going to scratch them you're going to mark them and there's going to be no way of restoring them i mean let's be honest no matter how careful you are with your suitcases you put them through a lot when you're traveling you have to put them through the security machine the x-ray machine you are going to kick them bang them against things if you even if you fly business or first class you're still going to have to put your suitcase in the overhead bin and hermes does give you this removable cover that you can put over your suitcase which I don't really see the point of because why are you spending so much money on a suitcase when it's going to be constantly covered up you know when you're traveling with a Birkin a Kelly a more expensive bag I understand putting those bags in a dust bag as you board a flight because that is only a fraction of your bag's life you're going to use it the entire time you're on your trip but when it comes to a suitcase Covering up a suitcase the only time you use it, which is when you travel, kind of defeats the purpose of spending so much money on a suitcase. I hope you know what I'm trying to say. I mean, a bag you use all the time and you might have to cover it up 5% of the time, but a suitcase you're only using when you're flying or when you're traveling. And if you have to cover it up when you're traveling, what's the point of spending so much money on it? It's not like you're going to be carrying this suitcase around any other time. So yes, they do technically give you a cover to protect your suitcase while you're traveling, but if you have to cover it up while you're traveling and using it, what's the point of even buying it? So to me, it just makes no sense. I feel like it is really only made for you if you exclusively fly private, or if you have someone, if you, for example, fly Le Premier with Air France and you have someone carrying around your suitcase, other than that, it is just really not a practical thing. And I understand not everything has to be about practicality, but I would not feel comfortable recommending that you spend $8,000 plus on a suitcase if you cannot really enjoy it and use it no matter how beautiful it is. And yes, there are customizable details so you can customize the top handle, not the handle that you roll the suitcase around with, but there is obviously another handle on top, which you can customize. You can choose from different types of canvas and leather. You can also customize the wheels. You can have, I think, different parts of the bag monogrammed. You can buy matching luggage tags, which you don't get for free, by the way. It's something that you have to buy separate and you can definitely build your Hermes travel collection, but it is going to be quite the expense and I feel like you're not really getting that much value for your investment at the end of the day. I know I'm going to be harsh on these shoes but I have to be honest I do think that these are some of the most distasteful shoes that I have ever seen and I know what it's like when it comes to new Hermes launches no matter how much you dislike something the more you see them on social media the more you'll start doubting yourself and the more you'll force yourself into liking something that you would never ever consider from another brand and i think this is a prime example of that which is going to be the new easy sandals which i'm quoting here Hermes claims have a light cork platform to them now let me just say this these shoes don't belong on anyone who doesn't live in a retirement home in florida if you do you go for them, they're going to look incredibly cool on you. If that's an aesthetic that you appreciate, these shoes were made for you. But if you do not, if that's not the aesthetic that you're going for, the only message these shoes convey is that yes, you can spend 600 euros on a pair of sandals, but that 600 euros really couldn't buy you taste. And then another pair of shoes that have been insanely popular for spring, summer, so much so that I saw these, I would say that on almost every other person at RMS when I was in London and these are going to be the new Get sneakers which they're doing in a low and a high top version which kind of just look like the type of uniform that RMS would give to the people working in their boutiques except people working at RMS have 
probably much better taste than to actually wear these shoes because they just look like, I mean, they're not the worst things that I have ever seen, but they are definitely not flattering. There's really not much to them. They're not something that I would spend money on. They are the kind of shoes that I feel like people wore to the gym in the 90s. They are just not really fresh or relevant or revolutionary in any way. In fact, they actually feature the Hermes logo on the side and it is so rare for Hermes to put their logo on something. I think the only logo that should be seen when it comes to Hermes pieces is the Hermes Cellier equestrian logo on their equestrian line. So maybe if this was an equestrian piece, maybe if there was some sort of a nod to their equestrian heritage, then I could get more on board with the design. But I mean, there's really not much to say about the design itself. I have no doubt that if these shoes didn't actually spell at Hermes, no one would even look at them twice. So do not fall into the trap, do not buy into the hype. If you didn't like these shoes from the beginning, don't get them because you're seeing them on everyone over and over and over again because they are not worth it, they are not flattering, they don't look great, they won't add anything to an outfit, actually they will do the opposite and they will take away from whatever you style these with. No matter how you style them, they will make any outfit just look tired and as if you didn't even try that hard or try at all. So these are definitely not a pair of shoes that I would recommend that you spend nearly a thousand dollars on. The next highly popular pieces are ones that everyone online will tell you to buy but i cannot join the cult i have to be honest with you guys i don't think that these pieces are worth the money at this point which is hermes swimwear so hermes has been doing swimwear for women for a few years now and they've been doing them for men a lot longer but i have noticed not only the quality but also the designs decline over the years. When the swimwear first launched, they had some really cool cuts, some really nice designs, but at this point, they're really just kind of been there, done that. When it comes to their women's swimwear line, they do some really nice designs that are inspired by their Shandunk motif, but the quality just feels really cheap and really flimsy, kind of plasticky, and then their prints are just hideous. I'm going to say it as it is. The prints will not be flattering in any shape or form and the quality is terrible, especially considering that these swimsuits are $500 plus. They start at around $500 and they only go up from there. And I don't think that you should spend that kind of money on a piece of swimwear or a piece of swimsuit if the quality is not something that will last you a long time. And yes, you'll probably be charmed by the fact that these swimsuits do come with a little pouch bag. Just go and get yourself a pouch bag from the regular beach line or from their SLG department because those are actually things that will last a lot longer. And when it comes to their swimwear for men, I used to love their trunks. They used to have these really cool cropped kind of tailored pieces, but the new ones that they've been launching for the past couple of years are really unflattering. The colors and the prints look like something that were made for a three-year-old. So spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Hermes swimwear is just simply not something that I can justify or recommend at this point. I'm not exactly sure if these even need to be included in here because it is pretty obvious that they are a waste of money, but I still wanted to give them a mention here because I know exactly what it's like going down that orange rabbit hole and feeling like that anything and everything that comes in an orange box is a masterpiece. I can tell you that these are not. So this is the reality check that you've been waiting for. Please do not buy the new Hermes AirPod cases, which they do in a few different colors. So these are an origami-like leather case that fits the new AirPod Pros, which I think the whole point of having AirPods is that they are really tiny. You can really easily slip them into the smallest of bags, even into your pocket. They are really portable. They really don't take up too much space. So Putting them in a bulky leather case kind of defeats the purpose, not to mention that it doesn't really make that big of a fashion statement. If you're buying these to protect your AirPods, it is a waste of money. You can buy three new AirPods for the price of this one case, which is not something that you have for a really long time because they won't fit the new AirPod generations. These are specifically designed for the current latest AirPod case, which is probably going to change drastically in the next year. So it's not an investment piece. It's not something that you have for every single new AirPod you get. 
I would much rather just save this money and buy yourself a new AirPod every single time a new one comes out. Or if you really want to protect your AirPods, get yourself a silicone case from Amazon. I will try to find some nice ones for you for a fraction of the price. And if you're thinking, yes, but this also comes with a leather lanyard, when are you ever going to wear a lanyard around your neck with your AirPod hanging off of it? And if you really want that lanyard, Hermes actually does sell it separate. I don't know why they're making people waste their time on making these, but they do sell them. So if you want to get that lanyard and if you're hoping to carry your AirPod around your neck, that can be yours for $335, or you can buy the AirPod case for $930, which I would definitely not recommend that you do so. But if you disagree, please let me know in the comment section. And last but not least, let's discuss some new Hermes bags that I would not suggest that you waste your money on. And this first one you are going to see everywhere, not actually on people because I don't think anyone can be tricked into buying these bags, but you will see these over and over again at Hermes. It doesn't matter which Hermes I go to, when I go to Hermes, these bags always seem to be on display, which is probably because no one is willing to buy them, which are the new steeple tote bags that come in two different sizes. They come in size 25 and 28, and they are these really simple canvas tote bags that feature the most beautiful handles. You guys know me, when credit is due, I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to give them credit because the handle on these bags is truly just masterfully crafted. The handles are inspired by a rider's riding crop and they are truly, truly like a piece of art. The attention to details, the way they are crafted is mind blowing, which is exactly why they look kind of disjointed with that cheaply done canvas tote that they are paired with and that weird little charm. To me, these bags just look like a weird combination. It kind of reminds me of a fever dream because there's just so much going on and none of it really makes sense. Maybe if the body of the bag was made of leather, if it was a little bit larger and more oversized, it would be a lot more chic. But in their current state, these bags are not something that I would recommend that you spend your money on. And if you got these beautiful handles on a nice bag for a reasonable price, maybe then I could say that, you know, buy this, take it to the beach, carry it to a summer vacation and don't worry about it too much. But these bags, I think they start at 3,300 euros, which means that they're going to be over for thousand dollars in the US, which is just a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a bag that will do nothing for you. Instead, it will make you look like someone who's going to the farmer's market, which is a great thing to do, but I'm not sure if you want to spend four thousand dollars on a bag that will make you look like you're going to Burning Man or something along those lines. Well, maybe not Burning Man, you're probably not going to carry a tote bag there, but that's the kind of bohemian aesthetic that comes to mind when I see a bag like this, which just doesn't scream and shout expensive and if that's not what you're looking for you don't care how much money you spend because you love the aesthetic you go for it but if you would like to spend three thirty five hundred euros or almost four thousand dollars wisely this is definitely not a bag that i would recommend that you spend your money on because they would really not add anything to any one of your outfits don't get me wrong i really respect and appreciate that Hermes always try to push their boundaries and see how far they can take their artistry. Sometimes their pieces work out and they are truly masterpieces. Other times they are kind of a quirky fail. They're kind of like a bad dad joke, which is definitely this piece. So they did a new take on one of my favorite bags on the mini bolid for spring summer. And I have nothing against the original mini bolid bags. I would still recommend that you get those if you can get your hands on them. I think they're some of the most beautiful understated mini bags that will make you look like a million bucks without screaming and shouting the brand name. But these upcoming bags, I would not recommend that you spend the ridiculous price tag on, which are the new Bolide on wheels, which are these tiny little mini Bolide bags made of Epsom that will set you back. I think when I asked the price in the EU was over 12,000 euros. And I think in the US they retail for nearly 16 thousand. So these are these mini bolide bags, which actually feature wheels that you can wheel your bolide around. I mean, I guess these were really made for the true Hermes collector because no one in their right mind will spend this much money on a bag or carry a bag around that feature wheels. Maybe if you have a really quirky font aesthetic, this is something that you will appreciate if you're a true collector. 
but do not get sucked into the hype. If you're thinking I'm buying this as an investment piece, you're really not because for it to be a good investment, there has to be someone out there who's willing to spend this kind of money on a bag. And I don't think that this is something that a lot of people are after or would go out of their way to get their hands on. But if you really love the look, but you're not willing to spend over $10,000 on something like this, there is also a back charm that has a really similar aesthetic to it. It is a functional back charm, which I was actually asked about, I wanna say a month ago when I was at RMS, they did ask me if it's something that I would be interested in because they had one on display and then they said that they might be getting one that is going to be available. And of course, I immediately said no, it was thousands of euros and it's just not something that I would feel comfortable spending my money on even though i did send a picture of the charm to some of my friends and the first thing they said is that they hope i got it and i was like there is no way i am buying this for myself i already bought the kelly twilly back charm which was a huge waste of money and i'm not making the exact same mistake again maybe if you're an air mask collector maybe if you love quirky funky playful things it is something that you will enjoy but to me it is just not worth the money or the hype. My friends, this completes today's video sharing my honest, very honest thoughts on some popular MS pieces that I don't think you should waste your money on. I hope I wasn't too harsh in this video, but I have to be honest, I cannot let you waste your money, at least not on my watch. I hope you guys appreciated this honest review and I cannot wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Please do not hold back if you disagree with me. That is perfectly fine, we can love different things and while you're down there make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet i really appreciate you being here and watching and i hope to see you back here with a new video really really soon